Hello again, everybody, and welcome back to Fusage Blitz. And I'm sorry for the delay, but the Aces of the Week Gallery has been slightly delayed due to the charity event that we were doing over the last 24 hours. Anyway, without further ado, we've got some great games. And first off is IXX Mystic of the Clan VB, rolling out in the Panzer 4S, the German Tier 6 medium tank, which is premium on the NA server. Now, this is both a spectacular game, a well-deserved ace, and a tank I really, really love. Now, I mean, the thing about this tank is basically it's a slight different variant to the Panzer IV. And the Panzer IV is a really good tank, but this one is a little bit different. Okay, some people call it the... Uh, it depends on the camo they use. Sometimes it's just Schmaltern, sometimes it's the TIE Fighter. Um, it and the Star Chaser, it all depends. And as you can see here, IXX Mystic is going for the TIE Fighter Star Chaser configuration. It basically really is a TIE Fighter. Bizarre. Great camo though, it makes it look a bit funky. The base on top of it is effectively a Panther 2 turret. Okay, it's not the same as the Panther 2 that you get in game, but in real life it would have been a Panther 2 turret, which is what the Schmaltern was. And it's a great little tank. It's got a really good reload. It's relatively decent armor if you know how to play it. Not a bad turn of speed. And, you know, it, it dishes out pretty good damage for its tier because of that reload. The other thing you have to remember is, see those skirts on it? Well, that's basically spaced armor. So you fire any, a, any heat or hesh or HE into this thing on its side, you're only going to hit the spaced armor. You, you're not going to really get much out of it. And as you can see here, Mystique is bouncing like a trooper. He's bounced over a thousand, he's knocked out 2,400 in damage, and he's not even taken a kill yet. But he hasn't even scratched his paintwork. And as you can see, he's a, a quite a low tier tank. He's not the lowest tier, but he's, he's, he's there near his dammit. Now I did a review on this tank because I do actually like this tank. If you click in the little box in the bottom top, corner then you'll go to that review it is a fantastic little tank i think and if you were lucky enough to get your paws on one and there's been numerous ways you can get your paws on this thing then lucky you because it's a good tournament tank and it's a good all-rounder like i said i actually really like this tank and it's it's now becoming a staple in the tier 6 tournaments whereas the arl 44 used to be the go-to this thing is now sort of moving up into that position surpassing the IRL 44 and the VK28, funnily enough. And um, you know, I don't blame it because it's got a good turn of speed, as I said, and a fantastic little gun. Now he's over 4,000 damage. I mean, this is a magnificent rollout in this thing. 4,000, almost 4,500. Can he get the last shot in? Yeah. Can he get the kill or is somebody going to steal it? He's positioning to get the kill and he gets the kill. Wow, that is fantastic. 4,723 damage, three kills. And I think you'll find that's number two overall in the Hall of Fame and number one on the North American server. So I'd really like to thank Mystique for kindly sharing that replay with us. Fantastic. Next up, good friend of mine, the Scarecrow 2018 of the Clan J4F. Rolling out in the Scorpion G with the stinging camouflage, the German Tier 8 TD. Again, another premium tank, and again on the EU server. Unfortunately, this is a tank I don't have, and I really, really want it, to be honest with you. Now, I don't have it because I was never going to drop the amount of money that you needed on the, on the crate, and I thought I'd try my luck in the lucky draw. But in the lucky draw, I got a Tankenstein. Mm which was interesting. So, yeah, but <laughs> and I managed to sell that. So, it's a tank I don't have, so I've never rolled out in it, but and I don't have a contrib I don't have a press account with Wargaming, so I have absolutely no idea how this tank plays. What I do know is the following. Effectively, it's on a Panther chassis, and it's got a big derpy gun, as you can see. The reload's not too bad, and boy, does it dish out some damage. And because it's on that Panther chassis, it's got a pretty decent turn of speed and quite good mobility. The thing is, it has absolutely pants armor. Everybody will tell you who, who's got this thing, if you stick it in the wrong place, you can get wiped out in next to no time. However, the thing about this tank isn't its armor, 
its sense of mobility and its gun, which is no different to most TDs. I'm not going to say all TDs because obviously if you take a British TD, oh hello, De Borsig, how are you today? You're not looking too good since you've had your engine put on fire. Um, anyway, as I was saying, not all TDs because obviously if you've got British TDs, they're slow, they're cumbersome, they're very heavily armoured. But they've in, in, they don't dish out high damage alpha. What they do do, however, is have crazy quick reloads and, and have a lot of shells dishing out low end alpha, which basically equates for the low damage output that they've got. And then, you know, you can contrast that with, okay, the 183, which is a, a little bit different, but now you get into the higher tiers, or the JEP E100, which again is a different type of TD. But most TDs, I think, will agree don't have great armor. This is one of those TDs, but it has a fantastic gun. I mean, it's similar in a lot of respects to the Borsig and the Waffle Tractor. The difference being, it's on a Panther chassis. Realistically, guys, this is a Panther chassis, which means it's got a good turn of speed, unlike the Borsig and the Waffle Tractor, which, okay, they're not shrinking violets, but they're not exactly the fastest tanks in the game, let's be honest with you, and they're not exactly quick. Not only that, this turret is not limited. Okay, I mean, this will do the full 360 without having to, you know, change. It's not like a, like the 183 turret where it only goes 25 degrees left and right. This will do the full 360. And, it, you know, I'd love to get my paws on this thing. And I'm hoping that I will get the opportunity because I want to go out in it. And as you can see here, the Scarecrow 2018 takes two kills, and dishes out 3,360 damage. It's a well-deserved mastery. I mean, that's a fantastic game. I mean, look at that. Brilliant. So I'd like to thank the Scarecrow 2018 of the Clan J4F for kindly sharing his replay. Next up, it's Dark Templar Doubter 64 of the Clan FTC2. He's rolling out in a really, really good tank. The T110E4, the American Tier XTD, again on the EU server. Now, I absolutely love this tank. It's a brilliant tank if you know how to play it. Like most American tanks in tier 10, you've got to make sure you go haul down and you've got to protect your big backside because a good roll of HE into that will wipe you out. The, the front of this thing on that turret is rock solid. It's got a decent reload. Okay, you're not churning out huge amounts of 183 Jag Panther Alpha, but you're knocking over 700 guys in this thing. And the reload isn't that long. I mean, it's pretty decent. The turret, okay, it doesn't go all the way around, but near as damn it, you know, you can get into some good positions in this thing. If you put it all down, you can get the turret you know, moving left and right quite nicely. It won't, like I said, it doesn't go all the way around, but it goes round as much as it possibly can. More than, obviously, the 183. But the thing is, it's got a fantastic gun. Once you know how to use this gun, it really is fantastic. It, it's like a German super accurate gun. Dispersion-wise, not too bad. And, you know, when you're knocking out 700, boy, and look at that bounce galore. I do like this TD. A lot of people don't. Um, and I don't understand why, because unlike its brother, which is the fixed case mate, uh, the E3, which is also rock solid as well, I think this is a little bit more tolerant for the newer type player, unlike that one. And I, you know, if you've got this tank or you're, or you're grinding your way towards this tank and you're a bit reluctant to go out on it, trust me, it's a great little tank, but you've got to know how to play it and you've got to keep that hull down because that is its weakest spot. The turret sides, they're also penable. So you've got to be careful when you're turning your turret left and right because you will be penned. You've, it's realistically a second line or even, it's not really a camping TD, it's a second line TD. You play it more like a medium rather than a heavy or a TD. Pretty much like how you would play, let's say, a T28 Defender, for example, which is a TD after all, but you don't really play it like a TD. This is more Evium, realistically. And uh, you know, if you play it with that mindset, and you play it all down, and you, you know its mechanics, you will have a great time in this tank. You really, really will. And I can guarantee you this. Um, Dark Templar down to 64. It's having fun in this thing. Every time I roll out in it, I love it. Okay, 
Sometimes it goes a bit wrong. I mean, if you get flanked by a bat chat and they, he puts a, a full magazine of HE into your rear, then, you know, it's, 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 it's pretty bad, to be honest with you. You know, it's not good fun because you haven't got the biggest amount of hit points in the game, to be fair. And as I said, you see where the, the, the upper engine is churning out that dark stuff. That is so vulnerable to HE. Um, you know, like most American tanks, you stick a HE into that and it's a world of pain. However, it's not slow, realistically, for a heavy um TD. Um, it's got a good turn of speed, it's pretty mobile, and as I said, the turret does rotate. Not 360, but it does rotate enough for you to get some good positions. And, and that's the thing about this tank. You, you've got to understand how to play it. Once you understand how to play it, boy, you can have an amazing time in it. And as you can see here, I mean, he's already taken out three tanks. He's done just over 4,000 damage. He's only blocks just shy of 500. But watch this, watch this on the grilly. Boom, bit of a low roll, but the gun is really accurate. That was a low roll, I admit. But for a TD, as you saw, that reticle came out pretty quick and it's a pretty accurate gun. But look at the reload. And now that was a much better shot and a lot more damage. Ends up with 5,446, three kills and a well-deserved mastery. And I'd like to thank Dark Templar Delta 64 for sharing that with us. Next up, we've got Maho Umakawata of FTC7. I really do have trouble with your name, Watu. Anyway, <laughs> he's rolling out in the M60, the American Tier 10 Medium. Again, a premium tank and again on the EU server. Now, this tank is a tricky tank. When it first came out, everybody whinged because only certain players got it as a gift. And a lot of people said, oh, it was given those who pay to play. Um, and there was a lot of sort of negativity surrounding this tank. A lot of people were pretty upset because they didn't get it. Not only that, it was not a nice tank when it first came out. Since then, it's been a bit buffed and it's a, it's a, sh it's a different tank to what it was initially doesn't mean to say it's any easier to drive. It's still a tricky tank. And the thing about this thing, it's not an easy tank to get an ace in because, like I said, it's tricky. It's a medium. The armor isn't fantastic. Um, the turret's pretty solid, like most American tanks. You've got to go all down, like most American tanks. Its damage output, well, it's around 400, so it's not the biggest. Um, it's got a decent reload, however. The pen is not the best. Uh, it's pretty mobile, but it's it's a tricky tank because as you can see here, almost everything can pen you. And, and that's what makes it a tricky tank to drive. And if you don't understand the mechanics of this tank, boy, you are going to suffer. And the thing about it is if you, if you play, you know, a lot of American tanks in the upper tiers and you know how to haul down, then yes, you, you can, you know, start to have a smile on your face when you're rolling out this thing, especially nowadays since it's been buffed. Prior to the buff, oh, tell me about it. I mean, it was truly a difficult tank to get to grips with. Now, I've got an ace in this thing, which, which I'm absolutely over the moon about because I think this is one of the hardest tanks to get a mastery in. And a lot of it, you could, you know, nowadays you could get, you could have got this in the New Year's Tree event, I believe, in one of the lucky draws. And I think it came up recently for sale. So it's, it's not as unique as it used to be. Doesn't take anything away from this tank. It's, as I say, it's a difficult tank. It's a nice tank, however. Never used to be, it is now. It's, it's similar to a lot of respect to the pattern. I mean, that's what it's actually based on. Um, it's based on the M48 pattern. So it's, it, it, the sim it's similar to that, except the armor is, you know, this is a lighter version of the pattern, to be perfectly frank. So where the pattern's got some solid armor around it, there's things not the same in that respect. Not a bad credit earner, and when you've got it working, the gun is fantastic. You know, as I said, it's not the best pen in the game, but it's American tank. American tanks generally don't have the best pen in the game. But it will dish out a good amount of alpha. I mean, look at that, 427 on his HE there. Mm, that's about top alpha roll for this thing. 
That's not too bad at all. This is where it struggles though. If you're out in the open, you're not hauled down, boy, you can be hurt. And as you saw there, he was hurt. But he's giving this um, this waffle tractor a bit of a bad day. I mean, look at that. I mean, look at this, look at this. I mean, it's a great gun. It's super duper accurate when it wants to. When it decides to play the game, it is a brilliant gun. It really, really is. And Maho has done really, really well in this thing. And look at this, look at this. Turret, it, turret, it, turret. It. Oh, straight over the top. <laughs> Pretty difficult shot, really optimistic. Well, you know, 10 out of 10 for giving it a go. And there you go, bounce that. Um, its premium ammo is heat. Um, there you go, he's just flicked it onto heat. Um, unfortunately, he then blow, <laughs> pounced it straight into that casemate. Um, maybe, oh, he does get a pen. He gets 300, you know, 308. Oh, there you go, and it's the end of the game. Somebody else takes him. But look at the damage that he's managed to knock out of this thing. 5,813. One kill. I mean, that is a really high damage game for this little um, tier 10. And I'd like to thank uh, Maha Umar Kawata of FTC7 for kindly, kindly sharing his replay because it was great. Last but by no means least, really good friend of mine. Foxinus Potent, aka Foxy, of the clan BPS. And he's rolling out in the STB1, the Japanese tier 10 medium, and again on the EU server. Now, if you've been watching my channel recently, or you've been watching some of the other Aces galleries, you will know Foxy is a one tank army. Literally, he is a one tank army. I mean, this, this, this guy's ability to churn out over 6,000 damage in games is unbelievable. Now, I was lucky enough to uh, be in a tournament recently with Foxy in a, in a tier 10 tournament. And uh, I rolled out in my 268, and he rolled out in a bat chat. And guess what? He got over 6,000 damage in, the, in one of the games. I think this guy is just like a spectacular player when it comes to getting these high damage rolls. And here he is in the STB1, taking a really commanding position on mine. He's already he's just he's dished out almost 3,000. And the game's not even two minutes in. <laughs> I mean, that's just spectacular. I mean, he's at 2,447 at the moment. After only two minutes. It's not even two minutes. It's like a minute and a half. I mean, I know it's a good tank, the STB. But I say this a lot of times. Tanks of all descriptions are good in the right player's hands. Now, Foxy is a, is a spectacular player. But there's no shadow of a doubt there. So in his hands, I mean, this thing is just a double meme machine. It, it makes the tank slightly OP. Now he's exceeded 3,000. And we're just coming up to the two-minute mark. We still haven't got to it. <laughs> he's done 3,500. And we've still got three seconds to go before we've had two minutes on the game. <laughs> so the thing is this. I mean, a lot of people look at DPM and they don't really understand it because a lot of people don't actually get the maximum out of the tank. Now, the DPM on this thing is actually 3,239 on its standard APCR ammunition. So, Foxy is pretty close to that. And that's the thing. Not many players get close to actually the potential of the tank. In this game, Foxy has. He's, he's, he's almost... Boy, okay, he's been in the game now two and a half minutes and he's, he's, he's just hit the 5,000. So he's slightly below what the DPM for the tank is. But not many players actually get close to the DPM, let alone just below it. So when you go back and have a look at this game and you work out that there's 3,200 DPM on this thing and that's damage per minute and you look at the first minute of the game, Foxy actually wasn't that far away. That's the difference between... The guys who know the tanks now, the play the tanks, and us mere mortals. Because I think I've only ever got, you know, you get close to the DPM, and a lot of people look at the DPM, but they don't really understand it. And that's the difference, guys. And this is why some players really excel. Now he's up to 6,447. Odd, oddly enough, he's bounced 1,200, oh, one, yeah, was it 1,370? Which is good going in an STB. I mean, there are some parts of the tank that you can get bounces, but the majority of the tank is pretty weak. I mean, it, it's no, it's it's similar to a Leo One in a lot of respects. But Foxy knows how to play it, and that's the difference between us 
and these type of players. And if you take anything away, guys, you, it's players like this that we should all be trying to emulate. We should be looking at their positions, how they play the game, the ammunition they use, and the targets they pick. Because the way it works... Oh, and I forgot to say, he's in a, uh, he's in a platoon with a good friend of mine, Tango Alpha, who didn't send me his replay, I'm afraid, which is very annoying, and I'm going to have a go at Tango Alpha for not doing that. Uh, but, I mean, this is how you play the tanks, and, you know, the idea of showing you these aces is not just to say, look how great everybody is, but so you can learn how to play the tanks. And, you know, if you go away and you watch players like Foxy, and you watch how Foxy plays these tanks, and you just take some of what he shows you and what he does away, you'll improve your gameplay in next to no time. You, you really, really will. I mean, that's spectacular, just shy of 7,000. 2,800 bounced. I mean, that's just brilliant. Wow, wow, deserved mastery. One kill, and he still dishes out eight, 6,839. This is brilliant to watch, and I'd like to thank Foxy of BPS for kindly sharing his replay with us. And like, I'd, I'd like to thank everybody who shared their replays this week. So big shouts out goes out to Maho Umakawata of FTC7, Dark Temple Doubter, uh, 64 of FTC1, uh, sorry, 2, The Scarecrow 2018 of J4F, and IXX Mystic of VB. Guys, really glad you sent your replays in. It's been a pleasure to watch you get those well-deserved masteries. If you've got any really decent games, not just masteries, anything funny, anything interesting, anything you think we, the world, should see, by all means, send them to me at fujitsblitzgmail.com, um, and I'll, I'll more than happily show them. Those of you who have sent me replays in, guys, there's been a bit of a delay. We, we did do a big charity event uh, on the... 8th of March until the 9th of March for Oscar, so everything's a bit delayed, but I will get around to sorting them out. Please, if you haven't already, press subscribe and send us your comments, and please press like if you want to. And until the next time, stay safe out there, have fun on the battlefield, and happy tanking. Because you know what? That's what it's all about, guys. Having fun and being happy.